Hi everyone, my name is Brian Mitterer and songwriting is one of, one of my big passions. Uh, so I'm here today to talk to you about songwriting for Recording Excellence. Okay, uh, well the first topic I want to talk about was, was inspiration, right? Many people think that uh, the only time you can write a, a song or do any creative pursuit is when you're feeling inspired, right? When you're hit by inspiration. Um, but I think it was Ben Folds who said uh, that if he only wrote music when he felt inspired, he'd finish like one song per year or something, maximum. Uh, and I totally identify with that. I totally agree. Um, some days, sometimes, sometimes, most times, really, you're just not feeling it, really. Um, but that doesn't mean that if you, if you don't sit down uh, and work on writing a song that you won't start feeling it soon, right? So please don't try to limit to yourself yourself to only days when you're feeling really inspired to write. Um, okay, so I think everybody has sort of a different setup for where they like to work on songwriting. For me, I def I'm someone who definitely needs quiet, right? Uh, so I will usually work on songwriting in my bedroom with the door closed. Um, I like to have my computer nearby uh, to write down any lyrics that I come up with, or sometimes even music too, really. Um, just because I don't want to forget them, and I have forgotten things I've written before, and it's really a, a huge bummer. Uh, so yeah, so so find your 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 quiet place to write music, or not quiet place, place depending on who you are, um, and, uh, and you're ready to get to work on writing some music, right? Um, so the next question is, and it's a big question, uh, should I work on writing music first for a song or writing lyrics for the song? Uh, for me, personally, there's no question for me. I, I have to start with the music. Uh, I've tried doing it both ways, uh, and I have zero success when I first write the lyrics and then write music. And for me, I think it is, for me, it's just that it's much easier to first write some music and then fit lyrics or, or poetry, whatever, into the the music that I've written than it is for me to first write some poetry or, or words and then try to build music around it. Um, that's way harder for me. Uh, I think most people do start with music and then write lyrics afterward, but I'm sure there are people who do the reverse too. Um, so that's up to you. But for me, I'm going to uh, decide to, to write some music first before the lyrics. Um, so if at this point for me, I'm ready to, to, to start working on a song, right? So my process is I'll sit down and just like start messing around, right? I'm a guitarist, so I'll be just messing around the guitar. Um, so usually just like just jamming alone and... Just doing whatever, you know, just trying to have fun with it. Um, mess around with different chords or different riffs or if I'm in a mood for you know some finger picking or something like um, just whatever just playing around and uh, you, nine times out of ten I'll reach a point where I'm really really liking what I just wrote what I just uh, what I just uh, messed around with just what I just created right on the guitar um, some riff I've done or chord series of chords, I get to the feeling like, hey, that was really cool. Like, what did I just do? That was that was awesome. Like, um, I like that. I like that. I think that could be a song. Like, what is that? What is that song about? So when I'm at this point and there's something that I like that I just did, um, I will ask myself that question. That huge question: What is the song about? Um, at this point, sometimes I just have a little bit of music. Uh, or maybe you have some melody too. Like if it's like, um, like, uh, um, so maybe I'm just, you know, trying to sing along with what I have here. Uh, if I reach a point where I, there's some, some melody that I, that I just did that I really like, um, I ask myself, well, what is this song about? Between the music and if there's any melody that I have at this point, what is this song about? Uh, what kind of mood does it give me? What kind of feel does it give me? Uh, is this song about some experience in, in, that I've had recently? Is it about the way I'm feeling about something right now? 
Um, or maybe it's not about me at all. Maybe this, the, the song sounds to me like it's uh, a story about someone else. Maybe like I'll be playing and think, hey, maybe this is a guy, maybe this is about some guy who, uh, yeah, it's about some guy who just went to New York and he's having all these different things that happened to him. And I start to envision like a story that this could, this song could be about, right? Um, yeah, so at this point, for me, the way it always works is that the, the music I've written so far speaks to me about what the song might be about. And once I decide, hey, that's cool, like a song about that would be cool, uh, that's when I, the lyrics start coming to me, or I, or I know what is going to be the topic of the song, so I can start to work at lyrics. Um, and the process of writing lyrics is, is largely about fitting them into... Uh, into the music, right? The meter of the music. Um, so now it's just playing around and and seeing what kind of lines might might fit in with that music that I, that I like, right? It's a lot of trial and error at this point uh, for me. Now, other times before I even touch the guitar, I'll come into the room knowing that I want to write about topic X. Like a few years ago, uh, I I decided I'm going to write a song about how I've been feeling very excited about an event coming up in my life and I'm going to write a song about this. So uh, I've done that that way also. Or I'm going to write a song about a specific person. I've done that too. Um, in these cases, I'll, uh, I'll, set, I'll, I'll set myself down with the goal of writing a, a, a collection of chords or riffs that has a specific feel. Like in my first example, a, a very excited feel, right? Um, so there are different ways to do it, right? Um, in any case, uh, you've got the, at this point you've got some music right you've got some music you've got uh, some lyrics and you have to ask yourself or for my process anyway ask myself myself is this uh, is this maybe part of a verse or is this if I written a chorus or is it a pre-chorus or a bridge or whatever um, you know usually you're, you're often dealing with verses and chorus and a simpler song um, so I might ask myself, okay. Okay, to me this sounds more like a verse. I think this is a verse, right? Um, so I know it's a verse. I'm going to work at some lyrics now, okay? And... Uh, Usually that's the format, like line after line after line. I'm going to work on this, right? And after I've got some 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 lyrics to go with this section, it'll be soon time to work on a part that'll complement it, right? For in this case, a chorus. Um, so now I need music and lyrics for a chorus. And again, I'd recommend starting with the with the music. Um, so one 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 thing you can do is is most songs have like the verse and chorus have a lot of the same chords or if they're riffs they're riffs based in the same chords or if that if they're uh, finger picking arpeggios based in the same chords again uh, so often what you want to do is just use the same stuff uh, just in a different order maybe so if you're in this in this example here my verse is like G D major A minor C major, G. So maybe I'm gonna, in this case, for my chorus, okay, I'll start with A minor. And then C major. Maybe I'll go back to A minor here. And then D major. Now I'm back to my verse. Right? So I've used a lot of the same chords, but just in a different order, and, and I repeated a couple, right? So this is very, very common in, in songs, you know, everywhere. Um, so that's one way you can go for flushing out the song, mo song more, right? And uh, the idea of the chorus lyrics are typically uh, just a, a line or a couple lines, or even sometimes it's just, uh, there are no words, and it's just uh, vocalization. Um, but it's the hook of the song, right? It's the part that the song keeps on coming back to. So you think about um, some words that are going to summarize the feel of the song uh, that you will keep on coming back to. Uh, at this point, you have really the skeleton of a song, right? And it's just a question of flushing it out, uh, filling in all the extra lyrics that you need, um, 
maybe make your sections more interesting instead of if you've written a uh, song with just chords there are things you can do to make that more interesting like um, like hammer-ons like that or adding riffs or uh, whatever it happens to be um, so this process of fleshing out the song usually takes usually that's the bulk of the work when you're writing a song so some of you will do that first time you sit down to work on the song and some you'll have to you'll, you'll come back to the song maybe tomorrow or the next day and work on it a little bit more and um, you'll get some you'll as you get more comfortable with the song you'll have some ideas for little flourishes you can put in there uh, you'll get ideas about how to improve your lyrics like I, I really prefer what if instead of what I've written here I'm gonna change it a little bit um, when I write, uh, I'm sort of obsessive about lyrics, so I'll typically write three or four times the amount of lyrics than will eventually be in the song. I'll write verses, full-on verses that I'll later cut. Um, I'll change individual, individual words and verses like over and over and over. Um, you don't have to be that obsessive when you write your music, but that's, that's has how I am. I'll even use, I like to have a, th a thesaurus. Uh, again, with my computer, a thesaurus too. Um, I want to, let's say, I know what kind of word I, word I want here, but um, the word I've come up with already is only two, two syllables and doesn't really fit well with the, with the lyrics or with the, the music rather. So I'll, I'll open the thesaurus and look for like a four syllable level, four syllable word, for example, that's going to work better for me. And I've had a lot of success with that and it is not cheating at all. Okay, uh, so. Um, oh, one thing I want to recommend, there is no replacement for uh, working for an hour or two on the song, setting it down, and coming back uh, hours later or even days later. There's no replacement for this because, especially if you've gotten to sleep on it, um, it's, it's just magical. You'll come back and you'll have extra clarity and you'll, ha you'll have more creative ideas for the song. Uh, you'll know exactly, oftentimes you'll know exactly like what's not working in the song, what you're going to replace. Um, so I really recommend just setting the work down for a couple of hours or days, not thinking about it, and then coming back to it. Um, and yeah, uh, so at some point in this process, you'll basically have a song, right? You'll, you'll pretty much have a song. And um, one thing, one skill that's just so important at this point uh, maybe not right away, but at some time in the future, ask yourself, why is my song not very good, right? Why, is my, why does my song suck? Or, or why isn't it better? And if you're most of us, or if you haven't writ yet written 200 songs or so, your song is not gonna be very good because it, it takes time, right? It takes a lot of time. It's not, song, writing excellent songs is not a skill that almost anyone is born with, right? You really need to work at it. So. So it's important to ask yourself, like, why is this song not excellent? It should be excellent. I want it to be excellent. Why isn't it? Um, and so think about, like, well, it's just sort of boring. Uh, it's slow. It doesn't move. Maybe the lyrics are, like, total cliches. Um, what are some other problems? Um, yeah, I mean, these are a lot of the, a lot of the common problems with the song the first time you write it. Um, yeah, maybe it's just too, too simple for your taste. Um, so, these, so these are all things that are going to help you the next time you sit down. You can, you can actually try to improve that song if you want. Uh, but if you feel like you couldn't, just, you couldn't improve it without just destroying the song, the next time you sit down to write a song, it'll be better because you'll be specific, specific, excuse me, specifically focused on these things that you want to fix about your next song. And it, it really, it works. Um, it really works. Uh, so lastly, I just want to say um, there is a, a very popular myth that so many people believe uh, with creative pursuits, and that includes songwriting. And people believe that if you're not good at it the first time you try or the first time you sit down and write a song, that you're never going to be good at it, which is just so crazy because creative pursuits are absolutely something that you need to get better at. Not, not different, really, than um, going to the gym to become stronger or... Uh, I don't know, learning to cook. Like these are all just things that you absolutely need to work at and it, creative pursuits are not different. So please keep at it, stay with it. Um, I've been writing music now for, gosh, I don't know, probably almost 10 years. And it's remarkable how much I feel like I've gotten better since then. Um, 
so yeah, those are some tips about songwriting and uh, explanation of my personal process when I write music. So I hope it helped, guys, and good luck with all your songwriting in the future. Okay? Bye.